Hello and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week with me, Mr. Barton, where every week I pick you out a beautiful question that has been created to help you prepare as best you can for your GCSE Maths exam. Now, this wonderful question has been provided by OCR and it's on a topic that is brand new to the GCSE. And whenever I look at the results on my diagnostic questions website from this particular question, students are getting it wrong left, right and centre. So the topic itself is Venn diagrams and you've probably come across Venn diagrams at primary school and hopefully you've also by now studied them at GCSE. But students go wrong in a very particular area when it comes to Venn diagrams. And it's, it's kind of by not reading the question properly, but also by choosing the wrong region. So I'm hopefully gonna help guide you through the process of picking the correct region on this question. So let's have a little read here. A different group, don't worry about that, it's just kind of part B. The results are shown below. Okay, so here's our little Venn diagram. If one person is chosen at random, what is the probability? And here's the important bit, they don't own a dog. So I want all the people who do not own a dog. Right, best place to start, I think, is to let's get our head around who's actually got a dog here. All right, so if you've got a dog, you fit inside the dog circle. So all the people inside here own a dog. So these 35% own a dog, and crucially, these 10% own a dog. What's the difference between those two things? Well, the 35%, they just own a dog. They don't own anything else. But these 10%, they're in the dog circle and they're in the cat circle. So they own both a dog and a cat. But for the purposes of this question, we're only interested in dogs, okay? So what about the people who don't own a dog? Are we sure we've got all those right? Well, the best thing to do is a little bit of shade in here. So anyone outside of this dog circle doesn't own a dog. So all these people on the outside, your coloring will be a lot neater than mine. Anyone out here doesn't own a dog. So that must include this lovely 30% here. Those guys there, 30%, they don't own a dog. So let's get those into the mix. There's, oh, sorry, my pens. <laughs> I can run out of electronic ink there, but I'm back. Anyone else who doesn't own a dog? Well, what about these guys here? These 25%, what do they do? Well, they don't own a dog because they're outside of the dog circle, but they're within the cat circle. So they simply own a cat. So let's include those there, 25%. Is there anyone else? Well, no, because we've talked about this 10%, they do own a dog. And this 35%, they do own a dog as well. So what percentage doesn't own a dog? 55%. So the correct answer to this question must be D. Now, if you're thinking, all right, down tools, have a cup of tea, we go, no, 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 we've only done half the fun here, because this question really comes to life when we start to think, where do the wrong answers come from? So why would students say A, 25%, where would that come from? Well, 25% is this number here. 25% is just the cat owners. And sure, they don't own a dog, that's fine. But the students have forgotten about this other 30% who neither own a cat nor a dog. So be careful with that. B, 35%. Where on earth does 35% come from? Well, I reckon, well, there's, there's two possible reasons. One, they've just taken the 35% from dog owners. So they're actually answering who just owns a dog. So maybe they've misread the question. Or they're taking this 25% who just own cats and combining it with this 10% who also own a dog and putting them together like that. So maybe that's where that's come from there. And finally, C, 65%. Now, 65% is an interesting one. Um, there are a well, there's probably two reasons I could see people ending up with 65%. One is they just do a little arithmetic error, and uh, we've all been there. So they would say, all right, 35 own a dog and 10% own a dog and a cat. So that's 45% in total. So what I've got to do is I've got to do 100%, take off me 45%, and they make a daft mistake, and they say 65%. Oh, bad times if you do that, okay? So watch out for that one. But I think the more common reason, uh, way for doing it, is simply to say, right, okay, who doesn't own a dog? Um, it's gonna be these 30%, so it's gonna be 30%, it's these 25%, 
but then it's also to add on this 10% in the middle. This is where most people go wrong. They're not fully sure what's going on with that middle bit. But of course, we know they're dog owners. Those bit, those people there are going to own a dog. Um, any other any other uh, answers that people might go for for this? Uh, I was thinking maybe 45%. That could be a possibility. Why would somebody say 45%? Well, I think they'll say 45% because they're 45 who just know, oh, sorry, who own a dog. It's the 35 who own a dog and the 10% who own a dog and a cat. So simply misreading the question could be a way of going for that one. All right. And another one I thought of, <clears throat> but this is a bit of a stretch, but I've seen it, is to say 30%. Now, why would they say 30%? Well, that's because they think that dog are these ones here. So they misread the question, but also misread the Venn diagram and think, well, that dog is lay not labeling that circle. It's kind of on the outside. So it's labeling this 30%. So just be careful with that. Because look, Venn diagrams are nice. Venn diagrams are all right. But you've just got to make sure, firstly, you read the question. I know teachers are banging on about that all the time. But secondly, make sure you understand what each of the regions in your Venn diagram stands for. And a bit of shading and a bit of coloring really helps with that. My advice would be to try the rest of this quiz out. Just check your probability and Venn diagram skills are up to scratch. And if you need any help with Venn diagrams, hop on my Mr. Barton website. You'll find videos, worksheets with answers, all the stuff you could ever need there. And I'll see you again for another question of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.